Hi everyone, we're now in chapter 6. Uh, in this video we're going to go over pages 151, 153, 155, and 156. My story, Drawing on Heritage, on page 151. What does Alyssa's story tell you about how she maintains connections to her Inuit culture? Alyssa teaches children at the Ottawa Inuit uh, Children's Centre. She wears traditional clothing, shares and eating traditional foods with her co-workers, and visits her mother, who is Inuit. Inquiring Minds on page 153. Number one, how does Alyssa's participation in ITK demonstrate the idea of equal rights in Canada? Uh, the ITK advocates for Inuit people on environmental, health, social economic, uh, pardon me, uh, and social economic issues. In the past, governments in Canada did not treat the Inuit the same way that they treated other people in Canada. Groups like the ITK help the Inuit to enjoy equal rights with the rest of Canada. Question number two, what rights do you value in practice? Now, you can have numerous options on this, but I definitely hope some of the ones you might have thought of were the right to vote, uh, the right for religious freedom, uh, the right to, uh, for movement and association, uh, but there could be many that you could have uh, brought up. Uh, question, uh, or pardon me, what do you think on page 155? How are the expectations at the Canwood Community School similar or different from the expected behaviors in your school? What might life be like for, uh, be life, uh, pardon me, life be like in your school without guidelines? Now, things could, uh, vary quite a bit, but imagine what life would be like in school if we didn't have rules. Um, sometimes it could be a free-for-all, uh, people could be hitting each other, well, maybe more than, often than that, unfortunately, it does occur. Uh, it could be swearing, poor behavior, stuff's getting wrecked. You guys are quite fortunate. Uh, you have some pretty good rules in the school, and most of the students honor those rules all the time. That's why we, we have such a nice facility. Uh, what do you think on page 156? How might an individual's freedom be restricted in order to respect another's right to safety? Now that is a very, very interesting uh, question, especially with the times we're in right now, because you hear a lot of people complaining about their rights of mobility. In some schools, parents or teachers make decisions about what students will do at lunch. Uh, teachers might restrict students' access to the gymnasium if there isn't adequate supervision to keep the students safe and free from conflict. Students' right to freedom of speech might be restricted if what they say is harmful toward another student or group of students. Students' right to assemble with whomever they uh, want might be restricted if there are gangs in the school that encourage members to break the law.